John, the issue of memorandum of consent, which is actually mentioned in detail in your new book, Jackals of Slavery, is actually quite a fascinating topic. I think a lot of people, whether they're going to court or not, would be very interested in this whole issue. Can you explain what the memorandum of consent is and how it applies to allowing people to get trial by jury? Well, it, uh, where you can see it is in Halsbury's Laws of Australia, and uh, I've, I'll put it in there. Uh, but basically, uh, unless a court obtains the clear and unequivocal uh, consent uh, to proceed uh, summarily, it's, it's got no jurisdiction whatsoever, you know. So this memorandum is actually a contract. Memorandum is a contract. So you actually got to so sign that memorandum and know what you're signing. And that memorandum of consent says, in this particular case, X, Y, Z, you know, uh, I, I, I consent to summary jurisdiction. In other words, uh, the court to be conducted without a jury. Unless you sign that, that is a, a, a kangaroo court, and it's got no uh, credibility, it's got no value at all. In fact, uh, even the petition of rights says that uh, any judgments, uh, any awards, doings and proceedings against uh, the, the Magna Carta uh, have, uh, shall not be drawn as a consequence or example. In other words, they are meaningless. They can't be enforced. If there's a judgment comes out of this kangaroo court and the sheriff tries to impose it, they're trying to impose something which is not only unlawful, but it's criminal. So people have got to know that every time they go to court, uh, and you, you've got to have a jury. If you say, no, I don't want to bother a jury, I just want to have this uh, dealt with, with quickly and easily, I'll allow this bod to, uh, to, to make the decision. Yeah, so you get a memorandum of consent, uh, consent, a piece of paper, and you sign it. Only then does uh, is it meaningful. Is a memorandum of consent therefore something that has to be in writing? Can it be in the form of a verbal agreement? Yeah, it's, well, uh, it's, it's got to be on record. Okay, so uh, it, it, it's either on record or in transcripts. Okay, or well, it's physically uh, uh, a piece of paper. Okay, so either way, it's got to be uh, uh, of consequence. It's, it's got to uh, have substance to it. It's got to be real. Uh, so, uh, yeah, fair enough. You, you can give consent verbally, but there's all saying uh, um, that's not worth the paper it's written on the verbal contract. So. Uh, to be accurate, it really must be a formal piece of paper that every time you go along to a court uh, and you say, OK, I'm here for the case, they should have a stack of uh, papers called Memorandum of Consent. And, say, and the, uh, the registration lady should say, OK, uh, do you want uh, uh, a judge to hear it or do you want a trial by jury? Every time you've got the choice, it's free choice. You say, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just let the magistrate do it. And she'll say, OK, you've got to sign this memorandum of consent, otherwise he's got no authority. But if you walk into that courtroom, they don't tell you anything about it, that, 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 that's totally worthless. I think, uh, I think it's very enlightening what you're telling us, because indeed people are unaware of any such thing as a memorandum of consent. We are not told about it, we're not informed about it. There is simply no mention of it. Deliberately. Quite deliberately. <laughs> they, they know what they're doing. They've been doing this uh, for a long, long time. You know, it, it used to be the, the case that when you go to go to court, uh, the, the judge had to explain your rights to you. That, that went out the window 150 years ago. They said, no, 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 you don't have to be told your rights anymore. In fact, uh, if a policeman arrests you, he's supposed to tell you your rights. He's sort of supposed to uh, Mirandize you. If he doesn't Mirandize you, that uh, arrest is, is unlawful. And the same when you go to court. You're supposed to go in the, in the full knowledge of your rights. And, and if they deliberately uh, conceal their right, they, 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 they trick you into, into their, their web, <laughs> that's, that's not only wrong, it's, it, it's vile.